Hello guys, what's up? This is Kiki. Today we want to watch another billboard. Women failed the WNBA. Let's give a shot. I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes, mm. right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. <laughs> they had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> why is that? Uh, that is a conundrum. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> Literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets. <laughs> Nobody is going to women's soccer games. You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena. 1,500 people show up. That's not a good night. The promoter lost his fucking ass on that gig. I'm not saying no professional female athletes, Serena Williams, the women in the UFC, you know, but nobody's watching your fucking sport. And then you're gonna come and you're gonna get mad at fucking men. They keep doing that shit. Why are you yelling at us? Mm. It's not our fucking job. It's not my fucking job to give a fuck about women's soccer, okay? I have men's sport to pay attention to. This is, it's your bullshit, right? Dude, look at the WNBA. Dude, nobody in the WNBA got COVID. <laughs> nobody. They have been playing in front of three to 400 people a night for a quarter of a century. Not to mention, it's a male subsidized league. We gave you a fucking league. None of you showed up. Where are all the feminists? That place should be packed with feminists. Faces painted, wearing jerseys, slashing their titties. Going fucking nuts like the guys do. In the upper deck with their big beard titties. Am I on the jumbotron? Am I doing it? You didn't. None of you, none of you went to the fucking games. None of you. You all, you failed them. Not me. Not men. Women failed the WNBA. Ladies, ladies, name your top five all-time WNBA players of all time. Come on. That's it. Name five WNBA teams. Name the WNBA team in your fucking city. You can't do it. <laughs> You don't give a fuck about them. They play night in and night out in front of nobody. It's a fucking tragedy, right? And then meanwhile, you look at the Kardashians, they're making billions. You look at those Real Housewife shows, they're making money hand over fist because that's what women are watching. And the money listens. You don't want to watch this shit, you watch this shit. They just shoot it over there, drowning these whores in money. In purses, in shoes, in Botox. It's just raining. It's raining money. Yeah. So, the money listens. You'd rather watch that shit. Real housewives, bunch of women just tearing each other down. Well, maybe that's why your husband left you. Maybe that's why your husband left. That's why you can't have kids, bitch. That's why your ass is as flat as your titties, bitch, right? That's the message you sent. We would rather watch that than see a bunch of women come together as a, as a team and try to achieve a common goal. We would rather watch them actually fucking destroy each other. Yeah. No, no, no. And then in the end, you come back and you fucking yell at guys. Like, and it's like, all right, so let me get this straight. I have to buy you a drink, stop the ax murderer from coming through the fucking window and I have to watch WNBA games for you? Like, when are you gonna pick up your end of the couch? Wow, that was so funny. I loved it. Um, 
I know his words are a little bit harsh sometimes, but it's comedy, so it's totally okay. And I think I really value his opinion and ideas about what we are going through in a real life. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Well, if you have any more recommendations, please let me know in the comment below. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.